Today's video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile app. The mobile app builder helps you create a native Android and iOS mobile application. Get the opportunity to grab 30% off by being the first 200 signups. Get the link in the description. Hi everyone. Welcome back to Educate WordPress, where we talk everything about WordPress. And today, I'm going to show you how you can backup your website on Google Drive. A backup plugin is a handy tool in case your website encounters an unwanted change, a bug, or simply crashes. So let's get started. First, head over to your dashboard, to your plugins, and we're going to add a new plugin which is called Updraft Plus. We're going to hit install. Activate the plugin. So here we have our plugin activated. Now head over to the settings and to instantly back up your website, click backup now. Check mark both of these and hit backup. So as you can see, our website has been backed up currently at this plugin only. Now we don't know when and how our website may crash and sometimes you may have forgotten to back it up. We may lose the data between the crash day and the last backup since we don't know when the crash will happen. For this, we have to schedule our backup. Now this plugin of Drop Plus lets you do that. Now we head over to settings, click here. and make both of them weekly. What this means is that the plugin will automatically backup our website weekly and will retain that backup for three weeks. So now we will link it to our Google Drive. Click on Google Drive. Click here to authenticate with Google. We authenticate with your account. Hit allow and complete the setup. So now our plugin and our website has been backed up in Google Drive. So back this up again. Now this will be backed up in our Google Drive. After we are done with backups, Let's see how we can recover our site from backup in case of a crash or an unwanted setting. For that, we will have to head over to our admin panel on hosting website and fresh install WordPress on the same domain. Now, as you can see, this is a fresh domain. Nothing in here. So we are going to install updraft once again. Install it like previously. Activate it once again. Go to settings and link up Google Drive once again. Now 
Now we'll head over down, select existing backups and rescan remote storage. Now as you can see our backup that we made has appeared and it is from, and it is from Google Drive. So we're going to restore it. We're going to select all. Head over. And it will start downloading. Click on restore. Restore successful. We'll head over to our website and look at this. Our website is restored on a new WordPress dashboard. So that's it for this video. If you find this video useful, hit the like button and share it with your friends. Thank you.